The new Snapdragon 8 Elite is here. And yes, I got to play with some cute puppies today, but let's not get distracted. This little chip is gonna be powering the next generation of smartphones from the likes of Samsung, Oppo, Xiaomi, just to name a few. Let's talk about it. It's manufactured using a three nanometer TSMC process, meaning some serious powerful and efficiency gain. It has a new Qualcomm Orion CPU architecture consisting of some prime cores at 4.32 gigahertz and some performance cores at 3.53 gigahertz. You get a 40% faster sliced Adreno GPU architecture that supports up to QHD plus 240 hertz refresh. This is gonna offer amazing graphics and realistic environments as well as smoother and longer gameplay sessions. You also get an on-device personalized multimodal AI assistant. This means supports for longer token inputs with 45% faster Qualcomm Exagon NPU and 45% faster performance per watt, meaning faster and more AI interaction. For you photographers out there, there's also Qualcomm Spectra ISP. With this, you get support for limitless, real-time semantic segmentation, ultra low light photography and video, and up to 320 megapixel photo capture, which to me is amazing. You can do things like relight your images, you can take better pictures of your pets, so you never miss those cute moments, hence why the dogs, limitless segmentation, video magic eraser to remove people from your videos and more. For gaming, a mobile first support for Unreal Engine 5.3 with Nanite to produce this film, quality 3D environments for total immersion. For connectivity, there's a Snapdragon X80 5G modem RF system with first 6RX for smartphones. And you also get Qualcomm's Fast Connect 7900 mobile connectivity system with Wi-Fi 7 and integrated AI delivering 40% more power savings. So, as you can see there, plenty of techie chat here, but what does that actually mean for you? This basically means better battery life, device generative AI that's better, faster, more improved, so you can remove people from your photos whilst filling in the gap, improved audio experiences, faster connectivity, improved gaming experience that's even more immersive than ever, and so much more. So, what do you think? We're gonna be getting these devices very soon, like Samsung, Oppo, Xiaomi, and so much more. So, I'm pretty much looking forward to testing these devices out and seeing the full capabilities of the new Snapdragon 8 Elite. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and if you have any questions, drop them there as well. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.